poker is probably the most well-known table game on the planet. And for good reason. It's fun, it's dramatic, and you get to deceive people. I mean, come on. Is there any physical contact? Um, no former football safety and all-time franchise tackle leader Darren Woodson, there's not. Today, I'll be teaching you the kind of poker you play in the poker room at Choctaw. One, two, no limit, Texas Hold'em. It's basically what you see in all the movies. You'll start by requesting a seat from the host station where they'll set you up at a table with your chips. Now the goal of Texas Hold'em is to build the best five card poker hand using any combination of the two cards you've been dealt plus the five shared community cards in front of the dealer. Or at least be the best at pretending you have the best hand. Speaking of best, let's first break down which hands are best and in what order. The worst hand, that is a hand of cards that has no pairs, no straights, nothing, would be judged by its highest single card. Next up the chain is a hand that has a pair of cards, like this. If your opponent also has a pair, the higher pair wins, ace being the highest. That hand can be beaten by a hand with two pairs. No surprises there. Above that would be three of a kind. Next is a straight, which means you have five cards that fall in order, like seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. An ace can also serve as a one here. Next, we have a flush, where all five cards have the same suit, regardless of order. Then comes a full house. I love that show. <laughs> Uh, a full house, meaning you've got a pair plus a three of a kind. Next is four of a kind, followed by a straight flush, meaning you have a straight, five cards in a row, that's also the same suit. This is really rare. And finally, the best of the best, the Darren Woodson of poker hands, it's the royal flush, a straight flush of the highest card values. 10, jack, queen, king, ace. The odds of this are one in 31,000. So those are the different hands. And of course, if you forget the order or have a question, Erica is always here to help. All right, it's time to start the game. Chances are you'll be approaching a poker table that's already mid-game. Players come and go. Just take your seat and follow the dealer's lead on when to enter the game. Somewhere on the table, you'll see this. It's called the button. The player with the button acts last for that hand. If you were playing poker at home, this would be the person who's dealing the cards. But at the casino, it's just a way to keep things fair. The button will rotate players with each hand. The player to the left of the button is called the small blind, and the next player is the big blind. These two players are required to bet, forcing the action to get started. The big blind posts the minimum bet of $2, and the small blind is $1. That's the one, two in one, two, no limit Texas Hold'em. The dealer then deals each player two cards face down. Because the small and big blinds have already bet, the betting now starts with the next player to their left. When you get your cards, it's really important you shield them like this from other players. You should also place a chip over your cards when you're not looking at them. Some players prefer their own special object. Every player has three options after looking at their two cards. They can fold, meaning they're done with this hand. They can call, meaning they'll match the current bet, or they can raise, setting a new bet for every other player to match. The minimum raise is double the current bet. In this case, double the big blind. And because this is no limit Texas Hold'em, the maximum bet is anybody? All in. That's right, no limit. It's also important to note that what you say verbally is binding in poker, and you should say what you're doing before you actually do it. When that first round of betting is over, assuming at least two players haven't yet folded, we now reach the flop, where the dealer reveals the first three community cards. Eventually, all five of these shared community cards will be revealed and you'll use them along with the two you already have to build the best five card poker hand. Now begins the second round of betting. This time, the betting starts with the first remaining player to the left of the button. Unlike the first round, where you had the forced blind bets, in this round, the first player doesn't have to put any chips on the table. They can check to pass the action along and delay their decision until it comes back around, or they can put the first bet on the table. If there's a bet when your turn comes, you can't check. You have to either call the bet, 
raise the bet, or fold, which means losing the chips you've bet up to that point. If we make it to the end of this second round of betting with at least two players still in, another community card is dealt face up. You now have six cards to choose from to make your best five card hand. Then another round of betting like before, and then the final community card is dealt face up. Now each remaining player can finally see what their best five card hand is using any combination of their own cards and the community cards. For example, a player could use a nine from their hand and these four community cards to create three of a kind. Another player could use an eight and a jack from their hand and these three community cards to create a straight. The final act, if there are still players left in the game, is called the showdown, where you reveal your hand. The best hand wins all the chips in the pot, minus what the dealer has already taken for the house, which is 10%, up to $5, and a small amount removed for our bonus pool. And that's a hand of poker. Going into the next hand, the button position and corresponding big and small blind positions will rotate clockwise one player, and the next game begins. Thanks, we'll see you at the tables.